Oh, it's down on the kitchen floor. Mm, like, like, we know there's a blind spot and it's in the store. Yeah. And they installed a mirror to get around there. <laughs> Do you think that Tom is jealous of Sam getting off with Ellie? It's a very weird one, isn't mm. it? Because they make out like, oh, it's a sister-brother mm. thing. But then remember when he, like, was going to leave and then... He called her to the diary room. Mm. Oh, get Ellie in here. Get Ellie in here. Yeah. And Big Brother did. Why is Big Brother doing everything that Tom asks for? I want to see Ellie. I want to see Paris. I'm going to put her in. <laughs> I want Fucking to see get Paris. Some, grow some balls, Big Brother. But did you see Letitia on Vox? Um, vaguely. Yeah, she said that Tom's she, um, sis, Tom, her sister is Tom's, Tom's girlfriend, girlfriend. And she said that she'd stopped dumped him because she's pissed off with him flirting with the girls in the house. But I personally don't think Tom's done anything wrong in the house, female-wise. No, he hasn't. He doesn't come on to Ellie. I mean, they have got a close relationship, but they do just seem like friends to me. Unless she's just majorly suspicious and also yeah. wonders what the real gender is, like we're discussing now, maybe. Yeah, but on the whole, I think you, I could live with that if I was his girlfriend. Maybe she's just fed up with his, I don't know, personality. <laughs> <laughs> um Ellie said to Charlotte that she told Sam not to use her. Mm-hmm. That was what they said when they kissed. Hang on, did we actually just like not talk about them kissing I at the end of the last episode? <laughs> I just wrote Ellie and Sam kissed, but I forgot because it was the first one. Uh, mm-hmm. um, just because he said it doesn't mean he won't, said, I think, Charlotte. So they let's, do think that he's going to use her. Let's make a pact to never mention Sam or Ellie ever again on this podcast. Oh, shit, the next bit is Tom, oh, Tom and the, Sam. The Hulk bit is quite good, actually, in the Smurf. Um... Was it? You look like you're sucking his dick. What? Sam is a gimp. They're the quotes that I've got from that. It was Tom versus Sam in some sort of stupid workout thing oh, they were doing. Oh, God. I noticed that Raph took his shoes off when he went into the void as if it was a mosque. Did he? It is a, it is a sacred place, the void. <laughs> Raph has got a, the respect for the game like no one else has. <laughs> um, and then... Oh, is this um, the quiz? Oh, God. Yeah. What yeah. about when the, they were meditating... I think Simone was leading a meditation Mm -hmm. and Chanel came out late and had a go at them for starting without her when they were trying to meditate. Mm. I hate, they're always meditating in the Big Brother (laughs) house, annoying. Yeah, so then this quiz is, they had to... Win access to the void and answer which housemate said what. And they had to press a button when 8 minutes and 27 seconds has passed, I've got. Is that something different? <laughs> this is a good, good po- podcasting here. I do remember that 8 minute and 27 mm. seconds. I think that was another part of the task. Oh, well, what have you got then? Cause I think I... it was like the first round or something. Mm-hmm. It was like... Uh... <laughs> 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 I think it was they were reading quotes from that had been said by the housemates. Mm. And they had to buzz in and answer who it was that had said it. Okay. So if it was their own quote, they basically had to like admit it in order to get the point sort of thing. Okay. Like... Who said they didn't want Sue sleeping in their bedroom, for example? Mm -hmm. And the answer was Chanel. Mm -hmm. And who said Izzy is about as intelligent as the three-year-old? Right. Kieran. Okay. And then after that, that's when that eight minutes thing came. Maybe it was another, maybe it was a different, actual different segment. Mm. But it was another thing just to get into the void, wasn't it? Sam and Chanel. Sam and Chanel were going in. Who won that then? Raph? Oh, God. Chanel. Ch- <laughs> Ch- Ch- Chanel win it. Hold on. You had to press a button when eight minutes and 27 seconds had passed. Chanel said, do you say one elephant, two elephant, three elephant? Everyone knows you say one Mississippi, <laughs> two Mississippi, three Mississippi, right? Uh, apart from Luke S. Um, <laughs> I am literally stock phrases. Um <laughs> Yeah, Ellie took in Simone and Charlotte. Ellie must have won it then. Yeah, Ellie. No, she won that button one. Yeah, the, the bit button before one. was Chanel, I think, or Raph. Raph won the one before that, and he took Chanel and Sam in. That was it. If you enjoy listening to people say names and not knowing what the fuck is going on, this might... is when. <laughs> hang on, we've missed out on a void section here where Sam and Chanel and we've, Raph were in the void. We've avoided it. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam said he would nominate Charlotte and Deborah, and he said he wanted to split up the sisters. I'm so bored of people saying he they want to split that. up the sisters. Sam said that oh, about fuck the sisters. Off, Sam. Um, then something came out in that task that Rafford said, and it got Joe really mad. Do you remember? No. It was like mm, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> But they're in the smoking <laughs> area, and Raph wanted to explain it to Joe. Yeah. And Joe was like, I don't want to know, mate. They're I can't always what it was. explaining shit in that smoking area, aren't they? 
So, yeah. Oh, I know what it was. What was Ralph it? Ralph said Joe was sucking up to the newbies. That was when that bit was revealed. Ah, uh, and he went mad about yeah. that. Yeah. He's oh, like, is this oh, where right. he really kicked off in the smoking area? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I've had, a, I've had a long week. I'm quite tired. Me too. <laughs> the next button, the next button press bit of the void thing. Yeah. Ellie was the winner of that one. Yes. Believe it or not, and he took he, she took Simone. <laughs> God, of all out. And Charlotte. Yeah, I'd like to pick Simone's popper's adult brain. <laughs> <laughs> Simone said Raph is listening to all of the conversations, basically mm. feeding back, which is true. He does mm. do that, but I don't want her telling people. Yeah, and, I, I've written. Simone says Raph is playing a game. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. And Simone said, do you remember who she said she was nominating? No. Mm-hmm. Hannah's sister. Rude. Not even giving mm. her the dignity of knowing her name mm. after having watched it for how many days mm. and being in there for so many days. You tell mm. me you don't know Deborah's fucking name. Mm. What's a fucking even idiot. Even we learnt their names after a week. Um, <laughs> Simone was wearing, like, Frank Butcher glasses as well. Did you notice? Like, what big, shit? massive, framed, oh, like, God. geek glasses. She didn't even get off a mannequin. Looked awful. Maybe. Was she wearing choker? And she <laughs> said she thought Kieran's going to win. What? Someone else told Kieran they thought... Sue told Kieran she thought he was going to win as well. Well, let's For be honest. doing what? The way that this show goes now, he probably could fucking Fuck win. Fuck off. If... Oh... No, I'm not yeah, having look it. Look at the history. No. Look at the, the data. <laughs> Literally just sat there the whole time. The only, Trying not to express an opinion. The only notable things I can think about Kieran off the top of my head. He likes being weed on. You've got an He's STD got of STDs. Ellie. Not Ellie, um, Isabel. And, um... Slept with 350 people? Oh, uh, yeah. You thought it was 50. That's it. I can't name you one other thing about him. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah, he probably is going to win, you're right. <laughs> I'm going to win all over it. <laughs> um, yeah, then they were playing that never, ever. Um, yeah, I, where... I don't understand that game. I never know when you drink and when you don't drink. It confuses you me. You drink when you've done it. Do so you? basically when... Oh, hang on. Mm. Never have I ever kissed Sam. Mm. So Isabel should have been having a drink by that logic. Uh, yeah, that, oh, that's a very good that, point. We should review the tape on that one. Mm. If someone else could do it, we'd yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, Ellie basically said... And then Never everyone, have I ever kissed Sam. Everyone went so mad. Chanel, Chanel said, <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. Sh- I'm shocked and saddened. Yeah, I'm shocked <laughs> that Ellie's kissed the guy that yeah. walked in saying that he fancied her on yeah. their date task and she couldn't wait to get her hands on. I'm it, really shocked. Chanel, Chanel said, that's bad, you know. and then Charlotte said oh it wasn't with tongue that's alright then what the fuck (laughs) no because Sam can't kiss for shit (laughs) so then later Joe pulls Sam aside and goes Sam she is fragile mate Mm. what why do you think she's fragile I know I don't know been through some abuse or something yeah off Loughton Um, Kieran said I ride from the back brother I don't know what that means. It sounds rude, though. No and Joe said, I feel like a mug. This is still about because of the Ellie, kiss. Ellie kissing Sam. Chanel even started to cry. And then Sue said, what's the big deal? <laughs> yeah, Sue <laughs> said something that you can actually agree. And Joe said, it's got fuck all to do with me, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Sam's like, oh, I do actually like her, though. Um, and Sue said, they're grown. It's no one's business. She's single. And then Sam's going, oh, I pulled her. Is that... Pulling someone, just kissing them, thing. Uh, I suppose in Big Brother terms. I guess. Um, and then Chanel was crying, going, "You don't listen to Ellie." And then Ellie was crying, and she said, "I'm easily led." Yeah, because that's what the public said. Yeah. In the task, oh, we came out. Okay. Who's easily led? Yeah. Mm. So she's she's latched onto that one. Fucking hell! What a lot of fuss about nothing. I know. Jesus. She said in the diary room, they, they're they all worried about my emotions and that. I don't get it. What's the big Dilali? <laughs> Dilali? That's Dilali. what my friend's called Dilali. <laughs> <laughs> and then Big Brother, as Ellie was like sitting there looking like she was about to cry, Big Brother goes, are you okay, Ellie? And then breaks her. <laughs> I like it when Big Brother consciously gets tears out of something. <laughs> That's okay. You can cry, said Big Brother. Fuck it. Actually, I was surprised because Simone actually spoke some sense. She was like, no. if you like him, kiss him. Mm. Which is true. Like, it's because Sue and Simone haven't been in there, so they're not... Protective over Ellie. No, but Ellie's a grown woman. Let her do what she wants. And then. she did go back out and kiss him again mm. on that bench. Mm. That was the end of that day. Thank God for that. I was sick and tired of <laughs> Ellie and Sam's story. Oh, it was awful. But everyone hates it. Like, the other day on Twitter, I saw... 
Big Brother tweet Pride. about it. Yeah, they tweeted something. Had a go at them. Oh yeah, because it's like International Kissing Day or something, and they went, "Oh, look who's snogging again." And underneath, it was just literally <laughs> every single comment was like, "Who cares? Fuck That's off. Good. Not interested." I'm glad but why did they keep pushing them that. it though? Why? Because of Love Island? Did you see maybe? that story that I posted off the Daily Mail on Twitter? It was about Love Island. It was about how Big Brother wants to move the house abroad. To abroad, yeah, that can't <laughs> be true. I know that's completely a made-up story. I only posted it as a joke, do you know what I mean? However, mm. you say that, but international versions of Big Brother have used international houses in the past. Yeah. Like, I think Czech Republic used the <laughs> Thailand Big Brother house mm-hmm. because it was more exotic and exciting. But it's not about the house, is it? It's about the getting decent housemates. Yeah, I'd say so. Do you know what pissed me off about that? I posted that story. It was off the Daily Mail. And what did someone, people say to you? Someone goes to me. I think it's one of our listeners who we like, actually. Joy, I think. Sorry, Joy. I'm just going to put you on blast. Oh, just, Joy Diane. Just, yeah, just a little bit here. Just a little bit. So I, <laughs> <laughs> We've been so, here before. No, I like her. Because I posted it off the Daily Mail. She's like, well, how can you post something off the Daily Mail? There's only place that's covering the stuff we like. Yeah, so. <laughs> I hate people who tell me what place I can and can't post from, what newspaper I can and can't read. But I, I get all of what... my Big Brother news from this Daily Star, The Sun exactly. and the Daily Mail because the Telegraph aren't writing about it yeah. these days. <laughs> Exactly. I'll post whatever the fuck I want. I hate like anti Daily Mail fascists. It's like everyone reads the Daily Mail. Everyone reads the sidebar side of shame. Mail. Everyone does. I just admit it. I don't care. Tough shit. Don't tell me what to post. Apart from that, love you, Joy. <laughs> but the Guardian do post some interesting articles about reality TV. Yeah, they do. And I do read the Guardian as well. Yeah. But it's like, fuck off. I'll read whatever I want. Also, it was like that. They they had the um, production or whatever the lead producer commenting about the show this year, saying mm-hmm. that he was like not unhappy with Big Brother's performance and that mm. he'd got faith in the show. And I think that's when they'd said, "Would you move it abroad or something?" Mm. And he was like, "Oh, we wouldn't rule anything out." That's that. That's where that came from. It's all set inside a house. What does exactly, it, it literally where doesn't it matter is. if it's on the fucking moon, <laughs> as we've seen in Big Brother Canada. <laughs> okay, we're on Monday now. It's nominations day. Mm. So Isabel was enhancing her <laughs> enhancing her bum cheeks with like <laughs> some sort of like chicken fillet type yeah. things for bum. Was it for bums or was it for boobs? I d- I'm not sure. It's, it looked impressive, didn't it? Uh, yeah, and then someone said, oh, that looks good. And she said, yeah, I've been, been working doing out. <laughs> yeah. And she said, I'll send you the workout plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Hold um, on. Charlotte yeah. said, if I got punched in the fanny, I wouldn't even feel it. What was that oh, in yeah. to? You know he was loving that scene, don't you? Who? That jungle snake. Uh, was he? Yeah, he loves Charlotte. Does he? Yeah. Why? I can't get enough of it. But why Charlotte's did, his bae. But why did she say, if I got punched in the fanny, I wouldn't even feel it? Oh, because she was, had such a bush growing, because she hasn't been oh, maintaining okay. herself. God, they're all I ever hear on Big Brother. I'm talking about fannies, arseholes, fucking boobs. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, before that all happened with the um, apparently, what was it? Apparently, the bum. Tom shaves his cooch. I don't know what that is, but oh, his gooch, the bit between your balls and your uh, butthole. Uh, um, Sue was talking to Raph about Tom, saying that he can't take any form of criticism. Remember, even if you disagree with him, he yeah, takes it as a criticism. That's and true. Sue and Raph agreed that he was sixty-five percent teenager, twenty percent kid, and fifteen percent adult. Okay, fair enough. And there was another. Um, Sam and Ellie Bohr section where mm. Ellie did this joke about something I, being just, bad. I've just written, I fast forwarded Ellie and Sam. Um, Charlotte did say that she needed a streamer on that minge. Mm. Don't use that minge. Why? I don't know. Minge is a good big brother word. <laughs> just show it. Min- minge bag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, so when Tom was saying that he shaved his gooch, Ellie was poking uh, his butt hole. Coo- cooch? Gooch. 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 Okay. Is that Ellie. a Welsh thing or? No. Okay, I never well, heard that be. one. That's kutch. That's a kutch. Oh, uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Ellie was poking Tom's butthole, do you remember? Through no. his shorts. Oh. And he was telling her to get off, but she continued to do that. Mm-hmm. That's not okay, is it? No. That's unwarranted sexual attention. Mm-hmm. What's it called again? Um, what was it that they did with Lotus in the bed on, on Savannah? Something. Sexual uh, intimidation or something. <laughs> You turned Loton's <laughs> Loton around so his genitals made contact with the housemate's face or something. <laughs> I've written are all pigs female. Why have I written that? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> this was the start of part two. First off, Raph was talking about his um, nationalities. Yeah. And Andrew goes, Do you have like a Paris passport? And Raph was like, 
<laughs> French, a French passport, uh, Paris passport. Uh, oh. Tom's got one though, apparently. Yeah, um, yeah pigs, anymore. pig semen. This mm. was basically the fake Jade Goody of the week. Mm. 